Who can awaken childhood memories with a soft and sweet Wuxian sugar kai? Three flavors of white sugar, brown sugar wrapped in sugar. And who can awaken the taste in memory? You have to do it slowly. It's not easy. Add water and alkali to high quality white noodles. After waiting for the increase several times, the master will pat and knead and press it back and forth. Put the brown sugar and white sugar crisp made in advance, seamlessly wrapped in kneaded dough. Now roll it out evenly with a rolling pin. Then knead into strips. Then pull it into the same size dough. Gently roll it into a dough kai. Place them on top of the baking sheet, sheet by sheet. Brush on the sour brown sugar water to color. At this point, it can be placed in the oven to bake. The hot brown sugar cake will be ready to be baked in 8 minutes. Sugar sure bread under traditional techniques. It satisfies more than just generations of taste buds. More satisfying are the memories of generations. After every autumn harvest, the annual pickled vegetable festival began in the rural areas of Zhangjiakoi. You can pickle cabbage every year in mid-October. It can be eaten after marinating for about 20 days. Sister Anne lived in the countryside since she was a child. It's very handy for pickles. Launch the vat that is about to disappear. Wash repeatedly with water for backup. Then divide the cabbage board in the morning into two. The sound of cutting vegetables will give people a feeling of immersion. First, take a layer of cabbage and put it in the tank as a base. Sprinkle a handful of chunks of sea salt. Spread another layer of cabbage. Salt again until the bowl is full of cabbage. Press with the cleaned vegetable press done. Wait half a month to eat. No matter how many delicacies you eat, it's not as good as the taste made by my hometown mother. Fry goodness rice cake, known as the three wonders of Jinna. It was perfected by the aunt in the alley. There are countless people who ask for cakes every day. After the watermill goodness rice flour is fermented, store gently in a container and knead well, pouring it into a bowl by hand. The bean paste filling was instantly wrapped in a bianti. Seal it and pinch it tightly. Put the freshly wrapped glutinous rice cake into a boiling oil pot. Flip back and forth and fry until golden brown. After 10 minutes of frying, use chopsticks to strike heavily. Make a loud bang sound, and then you can take out the pot. The freshly cooked fried cake is golden and crispy, while the glutinous rice is fragrant and mellow. In one gulp, the yellow, black, and white colors are distinct and soft with a silky texture. Which one do you prefer compared to Wuxian Huanggao? Mention the special cuisine of Zhang Jiakong. Yanmi and Wen Wen must be on the list. It is the food most familiar to the people of Bashan. It is the taste of all the wanderers who are homesick. Selected Bashan noodle powder. Scoop into the basin. Mix the noodles with warm water. Knead in the basin. Pick up the rolling pin and roll the dough into a pancake and you grind the fresh potatoes. Then add carrots and scallions. Put in the seasonings, stir well, and spread the prepared vegetable filling onto the dough. Roll up from both ends. After rolling, cut it into inches with a knife. Put all the yanmi and wen duan into the cage. Steam for about 10 minutes and remove from the pot. The yanmi and wen duan that just came out of the pot suddenly had a sweet taste of naked oats. Dip in cold shrimp. The smell of naked oat flour burst out in one bite. Just like the homesick traveler's heart. In the countryside of Zhang Jiakoi, such a delicacy has been passed down. It goes from famine to modernity. It is affectionately called the life saving straw by the older generation. Because food was scarce, resources were scarce. Corn mochu has become the staple food of every household. After several improvements, it became what it is now. Select the big stick corn in the field after drying. Knead it into corn kernels with iron tendons. Then I pulled it to the grinding factory near the village. The master pulled bags of corn into the machine. Half an hour later, the bag of processed cornmeal is formed. Cornmeal ferments overnight and mixes with white noodles. Pull it into a bowl by hand and place it on top of a steamer. Steam for half an hour. The golden soft and sweet nest is out of the pot. Served with cooked dishes from local representatives. It can be said that it is delicious in the world.